Hello, Mech Warrior. Let's hope it plays Mech Warrior 5. We're in the uh, promised land system. Still hunting after uh, good fun and times. If you hear that chewing in the background, it is in fact chewing in the background. That's my dog chewing a uh, rawhide roll up that I just gave him. So he'll be munching away for a while. Let's go t take a look at where we are and what we're doing. Right there by the Waco Rangers. We've already finished off the all 10 levels of the Bounder Hunter missions, so we can still get other stuff. But, uh, and some of it's pretty lucrative, but we're not going to see him anymore except to talk to us. And I'm still looking for clan stuff. I got a pretty good lineup, excuse me, big gun. Got a pretty good lineup of uh, mechs. This is my uh, 360 Lance. Um, and as you can see, it's Mad Cat 2 heavy with a uh, Blood Ass Prime for backup. Then everything I've got is either a. You know, I was missing a whole lineup there. Is either a. Uh, Hero mech or a clan mech. So everything's slightly better than a standard generic run of the mill mech. Because even the clan mechs themselves have uh, the extra stuff I'll show you on loadout screen. That's the Savage Wolf 75 ton. I've got it configured as a long range support mech. Clan gives it anywhere between 6.7% to 20% uh, modifiers. And the 20% is a negative modifier. It is for upkeep. So it costs more to repair it just because it's clan. Bonus is there. Structure repair cost is 25% extra. And oh, by the way, if it had endo steel and, and or uh, ferro, it would cost even more. But you get these to go with it. And let's do uh, the Hero Mad Cat 2 CXM Savalin. One of my favorite mechs, also. He is an 85 ton Mad Cat with a Hag 20. You can see the weapons yourself. Let's look at what this means. I mean, just random numbers, pretty low, but it's there. He is a knight of the inner sphere. It's fallen, is. Projectile damage to armor, minus 10%. It's hero armor bonuses. It's extra modifiers. I suppose actuator modifiers. Hyper extenuating, so you can turn tr far more than anybody else, etc. etc. It's a command mech. That's a nice little 85 tonner, ain't it? I got two of them puppies done a little bit differently for each one. Let's go see what we can get into. I came all the way over here, in fact, just to run the uh, 360s. I'm still looking for clan. I'll do a Federated Sun, but not a Recon at 200. That's just a little bit light for what I'm carrying, although I can get down to it. I don't want to run a Recon. They get twisty. That's all lighter stuff, so I gotta stay heavy ish down this way. There's a good one, but it's a multiple multiple mission. I think I'm gonna go give out a whack. Yeah, I'll give out a whack. I haven't played a multi mission at all in this playthrough and I just showed you my mechs. I got I got it. Might as well do it.
started this playthrough in 3048, two years before the clan invasion, using the advanced start mod. And if you, you noticed on the uh, screen where I was showing you the battle mechs, I'm running yet another mech lab and yet another clan mech, yet another weapon, yet another, you know, yet all the yet another another's to make this thing coherent work. I'm also got the uh, system mouse map over. That's where I, when I mouse over a system, you can see what missions are there. Got the no, uh, no artillery mod because I got issues with artillery. That's a four mission operation. Let's take it on. The only place I'm really deficient for that is, um, oh no, I'm not going to do it. It's a beachhead, battlefield. Wow. Yeah, I got second thoughts. Four missions as much because I don't have, most of my pilots are stocked, just picked them up. I haven't played with them a lot, so I'm going to have to pass on that. I did the GTE, and I'm not sure if I get the credit for it if I don't have them all still. You know, not just get them, but... Sorry, farce alarm. Six minutes in, let's find something quickly for you. Well, quickly would be the battlefield, but uh, I'm gonna, I'll play that. We're here. Let's do it. Just both these guys, neither one of them like me. Him even less. I'm, I'm not going to get paid for this one. Yeah, not not much pay at all. That'll pay the travel cost. And I'll take, uh, just in case there's something really good those independents are toting around weapon-wise. Heads up, Commander. Weather conditions in the area will restrict visibility and have an effect on your sensors. Yeah, it looks like the Mad Cap on the end is still at 12 days shy. Hmm. Okay, Bulwark, do better next time. Let's see, guys, see the long range one? Yep, LRM 15. And an LRM 10. Must have been a weight issue. Okay. Well, like the title says, here comes the cavalry. Yeah, I'm trying to stay uh, against independence, against clan, and against uh, pirate organizations and peripheral states. And not so much against the inner major inner houses. And if I do have to go against the major inner house, it'll be Merrick, which makes this a very, very low paid mission. And against Merrick, not because they're Merrick, but just because where I was at the time when I had to make that choice. Got nothing against Merrick. Having said that, I normally pay Federated Sons or Steiner Davium. Got a small cut in the canyon wall right there. If it's real. If not, it's going to bang up my legs. Nope, can't trust my guys to not bang up their legs.
nice rock columns getting in the way of my rightward turn. There's just nothing for it sometimes. You gotta do the long way around. And I think whoever designs these uh, maps uh, just just know. Put the drop zone somewhere nearby so you can at least start the combat fast. Watch out for landslides. Gravity and huge rock do more damage than auto cannons in some situations. I think so, Buck. It's actually true. A lot of the uh, books, novels, have uh, explicit tactical acts where they bring down canyon walls, etc., with mines and wipe out entire companies and units of uh, battle mechs trying to patrol through. You're not uh, immune to a 20 ton chunk of granite falling on you. This is one of the things I think is quite funny in that when they Rocky Maze covered in vegetation is a wonderful sight <laughs> and a heel's worst nightmare. Okay, so but cut your radio off. You're going through doing a demolition mission scrapping a city with chunks of building falling on your head and it doesn't do any damage. That's not very realistic. Not very realistic at all. Okay, let's take this corner up this way. We're going to wind up having to do the same run back. And I guarantee you we're going to have drop ships on the way doing that. That looks like it's closed off, but I'll give it a whack. Nope. If in doubt, go round about. Don't tell me there's no way up. It was literally five minutes of walking around. Not happy with that. Poorly designed map. And if you're the one that drew this map and you're watching this, tough crap, eat it. side of the city of course New target, Panther. a little too far but one can hope that puts them on the other side of the canyon and it does New target, Dervish. it's exactly what's wrong with this kind of map now that panther has to run all the way around 64 kph to eventually get to us. Still behind the building.
of course she's got to do all that running around just to die swiftly How the heck did Sobek take that kind of hit? Besides so being Sobek, of course. Hmm. Yeah, I should have guessed I was going to have to go around that. Plan to draw them out of the city. It may be how Sobek got beat up. And one of them. Okay, the Highlander is an assault map. In front of me. Not a good thing to do, butthead. Move. One of them was standing behind me, not letting me back up. That did not work out well for any of us. Go kill him, guys. Okay, there was a salvage in there. There it is. Playing right into that guy with a AC twenty. But they're at least hitting them. Actually, just clearing the way for future. Taking out buildings where necessary. Opening up lines of sight. Good job, Venom. Fender, you're gonna get kicked every once in a while. That should make it so the only one going after that light guy is Sobek. And yet Venom destroys him. Oh. 
see if these guys are in the trench or not. Yeah, he's on the other side all the way over. Diving into the city. Shifting to your target, Commander. Target acquired. Expect a little more heavy stuff in the uh, Additional contact. 360 Just missions. The commander. Expect company soon. So that's an Irby mech got to make his way all the way around to us. talking about uh, expect something a little heavier. Yep, like I said, on the other side of the canyon. And a dropship right between us and them. Coincidentally. It's just free money and possibly better salvage. I got a pretty hard banging on the cockpit, didn't I? None of that hit him in the head. You gotta get me out of the way a little bit. Yeah, it's just a Zeus. my mech's doing. Target 
There, I'm finally shooting at it. Okay, I realize this Madcap Mark II Type II is the baddest ass on the field, but doesn't mean I can take it all forever. That was almost a 500k uh, achievement there, just in that one drop ship. I don't think I want to try another one. Squeeze! Good fit. I really don't care if the other guy's got to go around. I got to get it done. And they got to go around. You must have really kicked over the beehive here, Commander. More hostiles inbound. And they're still just stuck on a rock. I mean, it's a simple algorithm to say, you know, look, look back at what you've done. And if you're doing it over and over and over, count to and find something else. Wonder how many days bruised Om Opa's gonna be. Three million point seven C bills. Only five hundred reputation. And seven hits. Seven pieces of nothing is seven pieces. But it's fun to see what you can get out there in the uh, advanced time period of the game, like a light PPC for three tons. 5.7. Heats, yeah, cooldown's a lot better than a regular. Rate of fire is 15 times a, a minute, not bad. But quite frankly, for 5.7 damage, why would you not get a uh, medium laser? I mean, I suppose it still has the, ins yeah, the disruption field. But frankly, if you fire it too close to yourself, you get the disruption too. So, yeah, I understand it. Is that a capacitant? Yeah. Four tons, 11 damage. Now that's getting up there. Somewhat better, but the heat seven. Just, ooh. Thousand yards, that's not bad. Jam chance, 100%. What is that? It's, it's energy. Well, actually, it's not. AMSs, we'll take them because I'm kind of low. Don't know how many more mechs I'm going to be building, but might be more than one, so.
That'll do it for seven. Fatigue, that's all. Okay. 3,000 points of damage, 13 mechs. I'm just going to say it right here and there. The Mad Cat Mark II. Type 2 slays. I can't show you from this screen, but I will show you briefly. Or momentarily, I should say. It's 144 points on the Alpha Strike. Yeah, that's a lot. If I could get that gun and this, this missile up. That would be a, a nice ride as it is. It'd probably be better in her hands, um, just because it got better ballistics. But the bottom line, that's my mech, and I am the Opa. Okay. Because I said I'd show you. Two Hag 20s. Four SSRMCs. When they lock on, that's when you see mechs just fall apart. And in this configuration, four of them on the upper torso, what you see when I fire it is what looks like a star going out of all six. Grouped together as one big kaboom. It's got almost lost an arm there. We'll go back. Oh, like I said, 144, might as well call it 145 points of alpha damage, 43 points per second. That's, uh, that's a lot of owie. And as you saw, did not overheat. The only thing short on this one is it does not have an AMS on it. And I could drop a heat sink and, and do that, but yeah. If I start taking a lot of missile damage, I, I might rethink that. It, it does have a lot of cooling, but it's actually just enough. 3.4 will cover up to, sufficiently cover up to 3.8, and that's, yep, right there. So there you have it. I want to see the uh, blood asp. Don't look too shabby. I don't know why he was... Well, he took center damage. A lot. Okay. Do I have better Gauss rifles for this guy yet? Clan Gauss? I got one. Oh, that bites. I got two. I can do that. Yeah. Wrong one, of course. There. There. No, here. That's plus six points. I'll take it. What else? Yard medium clan. I'm out in Never Never Land. Why is that saying zero days? Hey, if he can really do that in six days, I'll take it. Yeah, Thirteen, you're on. And a repair all. Thirty-four days for the Mad Cat. Yeah. That just gives me time to go all the way up to the top of the map and find something good. Makatunga. Targeted kill. Nope. See, I, I don't work for the clan. Although I could against uh, these two simply because they don't like me anyway. The magic 34 days. Folks, that's going to be it for this episode. We'll pick it up with the uh, combat for the next episode. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, come back for the next episode. Because until then, Opa has left the building. Just like that.